In this video, I wanted to go over the different views and the options for views that are available because I think it's a very powerful feature of Dynamics. And I didn't want to spend too much time of, on it in the overview video, but I think it's worth it to get a little bit more information for people because you'll be spending a lot of time looking at the VMS. And so if there are ways that you can increase the efficiency of what you're looking at, I think that'll be helpful. So lots of things to look at here. Uh, first off, I'm in the event entity and you get there by clicking volunteer management then events and I'm looking at all events and in fact they just uh, uploaded a whole bunch of historical information here in the development environment and so this is a lot of uh, actual events that have occurred over time so the first thing I guess I'll show you is that each of these columns is sortable and filterable and what I mean by that is that you can click on any of the columns and it will sort ascending and if you click it again it'll sort descending uh, so if you want to look at different event statuses or maybe the subtypes to group them up uh, sorting by the dates puts them all in order etc so we can also look at uh, you can sort by the region state territory or the metro and in addition to being able to sort you can also click the filter button and you'll be able to see these filter drop downs that will show up as well so some of them are set up to be able to just allow you to pick a specific uh, status in this case and so if I hit that then it should show me all the published events and then you would clear it out by either selecting all or just unselecting published it should go back to normal uh, other ones things that have a lookup which are these blue anything that's blue is a lookup record so it's kind of like a hyperlink so if I were to click this it would go into uh, that particular thing so in order to filter those you have to actually select it from a list and so here we have the different event types so if I want to say I just want to see administrative events you'd first select it here and you want to be careful not to actually click the blue part of it because that would just be a hyperlink and I feel like a lot of people are going to do that for a while until they get used to this so if I were to accidentally hit, hit the blue part and then it just sends me into that particular entity which in this case is not very helpful. <laughs> if that happens, just go ahead and close the window. If I want to actually select this, I have to highlight it over here first, then choose the select button and then hit add. And then that actually applies it to the filter. And same thing, we can then undo it by just unselecting it. Then we're back to normal. Uh, the date type columns have lots of different options that you can use because it knows that it's a date and uh, that's about it for the filtering piece the last piece are the actual views so there's a number of built-in views that are global for everybody they're called system views so as I uh, move around the different system views you can see that it will start whittling down the events that we're looking at and for the most part they're fairly standardized but there are some that um, have different information that shows up here's everything these are just the ones that I've created in draft mode for example or the ones that I've created that might be pending approval and so you can utilize these drop downs to uh, very quickly get to a subset of information that you're looking for so once you are in a uh, one of these views if you choose to you can create some filters and you can whittle all these things down to something that you care more about and then as you do that you'd be able to save it as a new view so let's do that so right now I'm looking at all events and let's say hypothetically I just want to see all the ones that are in the Southwest Territory what I could do is I can filter inside the territory column I can look for Southwest select it hit add this now gives me everything southwest. I got 308. And let's say for whatever reason, I don't want to see the ones that are already complete. So I'm going to go ahead and unfilter those by selecting everything else and then unselecting complete. So now I've got basically southwest events, um, uncompleted southwest events. So if I wanted to save this as a personal view, I would hit the save filters as new view option. Call it whatever I want. hit save and now I've got this as a new personal view so let's say I go back to uh, all events if I want to get back to where I just was I can literally just go back and choose Southwest non-completed 
So you should have the ability to do personal views. I think it's it's one of the more powerful features. Um, and uh, you can do that anywhere you see a grid. So inside of events, inside of uh, contacts, inside of users, wherever you find yourself most often, feel free to create more views to make your life a little bit easier. Uh, the last thing to talk about is this little push pin right here. If there is a specific view that you like the best or that you want to always show up whenever you log in, you can simply hit this pin and it will make it the default. Okay, so let's say that I always want to see uh, my little view that I made for logistics support. If I want that to be the default, I would just go ahead and tap that. And then whenever I'm somewhere else and I come back to events, it should put me back into this view. That's it for this video. If you have any questions on anything, feel free to drop me an email and we'll see you on the next one.